right with me, okay? Kyla Corpru and Madison Cunningham are sprinters for the Highland Springs track team. Two years ago, as freshmen, they forcibly discovered a new way to get in shape and build their endurance. Our coach was like, hey, you're doing cross country. It, like, it wasn't a choice. What? And we're like, cross country? What are you talking about? I didn't like, like the sound of it. And then when I found out how long we were going to be running, I was like, oh, no. Oh, oh no. Cross country teams run five kilometers or just over three miles over courses that wander through woods then up and down hills. Save your breath. Come on. And the hills can be a problem. You have to let the hill take you and you not take the hill because if you take the hill, you're going to fall or tumble or worse. I tripped actually going down one of the hills in the woods. <laughs> Chloe Ellen is a sprinter for the Douglas Freeman track team. Like Kyla and Madison, she too started cross country to build up her endurance. Unlike those two, she is a cross country rookie. That particular race for Chloe was her first 5K race ever. So she'd never raced more than a 400 before. That race was held at Pole Green Park. All right, great pace, y'all. Chloe tripped just over one mile in and fell right in front of Kyla and Madison. And I'm pretty sure this girl's that helped me passed and like asked me, are you okay? You. I was like, oh my goodness, are you okay? <laughs> Unfortunately for Chloe, that wasn't the first time she fell on that run, which aggravated a previous hip injury. She was struggling to finish and had thoughts of quitting. I was pretty close. I was thinking about it when I was in there. I was like, maybe I should. And I was like, no, I got to finish. Her determination caught the attention of her competitors, who are also runners at heart and have been in a place where they too felt like giving up. She pushed herself that far. So I felt like if she had the concept to push herself that far, like we're going to tell her, like, you made it this far, just come on and finish. So Kyla and Madison, who had already finished their run, got back onto the end of the course and helped an injured opponent finish the race. But I was surprised like that they would just come back and come back for me and help me finish because I didn't know those girls. So it wasn't like I had some connection with them. They didn't hesitate at all, which I think is wonderful. You know, they just and didn't necessarily think about the fact that perhaps it is technically against the rules, but they just saw someone who needed help and they and they just offered it because I think that's just the kind of people they are. She deserves to like finish and have somebody who cares that she's finishing or at least trying because she wanted like as we was helping her she wanted to like just go under the rope and not even cross the finish line we was just like no we're not going to show them that you're in pain they're like we're here no like we're going to get through this they're like put your hands up it's your time to shine you you did it we're so proud of you they were so like supportive and i was like oh they're so sweet so like i barely knew them and they just made me feel good it really showed me that one and like they care and it's not just like all about winning. It's all about everyone getting through it and like just everyone working together. As long as it made a big impact to the world with seeing it for once, then I guess I'd done my good deed. And that was CBS 6 Sports Director Lane Casadante reporting.